Like that's not enough damage. Yep. And they want to taunt the thing. They want to taunt. They want to taunt. So you know what you do when they taunt? You click something else. You get a KO. And your trick room with the other mind. Let's go. <laughs> I know he mad, son. Alright, we right into it for you guys. Um, so you know, answer that question today for me. Favorite tech you've ever used on a Pokemon? You know, something that you put on for a specific reason to counter something, to catch somebody off guard. Um, so let's see how do we want to play this, right? Do we want to uh you know what? I feel like it's safe here to just go with the uh Mian Chao when the Cali Rex. We'll do that. Um Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Haven't gotten to play a lot of me and Sal Calyrex since I got on cart, which was like one of my go-to things. Um, Stack Attacker does well into a couple of these mines. So it might be Pori Stack here. Um, yeah, because I don't think Volcarona is going to do enough for us into like Ensign, Feeny, um, whatever. I forgot the name where they restricted. Big Ground Snake Dragon. <laughs> Well, I don't know uh, Zygarde. There we go. And I like Zygarde so much. How can I, how can I forget its name? Um, but yeah, Zygarde. I don't think it does enough into those. So like, we're gonna leave it home again. I took I took I think Rotom off of this Pokemon uh, off this team because I needed some more offense. Um, so I put Volcarona with like some offensive moves and Quiver, quiver Dance, but I haven't gotten to play it. And like Rotom would be great here, right? Because I could like potentially Will O Wisp. No, I can't because they have Feeny, but I could Thunderbolt the Feeny. <clears throat> so what is that misty seed special defense raise all right so how do i want to play this um what do i have in the back i brought my stack of thing okay um the best play here is probably to fake out the feeny so it doesn't get anything off real easy I don't think Zygarde has anything special to hit us with, so I'm gonna just go for broke. I don't want them to get like a calm mind boost up real easy. So like this way I get big damage over to the Feeny. Um, ooh, that Zygarde should have died. <laughs> ooh, that's big damage. Oh, that's not enough. But what is this raise? Their attack, defense, accuracy. Yeah, that, that's nothing. That means nothing. <laughs> that, that doesn't raise your speed. So you about to get wrecked anyway. <laughs> Transformer, robots in disguise. Transformers more than meets the eyes. Um, so essentially, I see somebody protecting, and I think it's going to be the Feeny. I'm going to faint. Um, and I'm gonna ask your barrage. Oh, it's the Zygarde. I should have did it to the other bond. Oh, unless you protect Feeny too. <clears throat> they probably thought that they were gonna be able to like hit me with like a, a moon blast or something. That crit didn't matter. Plus one, baby. We are rolling in the deep. No Adele. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. I really I really wish I had caught that on camera. I, I mean I, I wish I would have fainted the right thing and then caught that on camera. Oh, this is this free cheese, baby. This easy money. <laughs> this easy money. This is easy money. Hold on. Um they can't fake me out. <laughs> I'm plus one. Everybody goes down, baby. <laughs> this is free cheese. Free stuff cheese. Nope. <laughs> nope. You can't fake out me and shall. You cannot fake out me and shall, baby. That's a dead Zygarde. And that's about to be a dead Incineroar. And I'm plus two. 
they last their last pokemon better be their lord and savior because this game is over son <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I'll make sure I'm recording because this was too fun. Watch my next game. I get wrecked because I'm having so much fun in this one. <laughs> they probably say and they're like, why did the fake how not work? It's because inner focus is a very strong ability. <laughs> you could put reckless on there and like, um, go like reckless high jump kick for hella damage, but it's no point. Oh yeah, this thing is food. This thing is a, a victim. <laughs> this thing is a victim. They're gonna they're gonna for, they're gonna quit. They're gonna quit. <laughs> gonna take me. Oh, they quit. <laughs> Catch a last glimpse of their face before they quit. Oh man, that was a great game one for your viewing pleasure. I gotta get the. Line. Okay, we're up against Curse, who was a top. Six, uh, top 600 player on the ladder right now. Um, oh, they rage quit against us because they saw that we had Cali Rex, which means we we're faster than them, and they wanted to use that friggin' Shed Ninja. Um, <laughs> they wanted to use Shed Ninja, but they saw I had mods that could hit it for super effective and just quit because I had Cali Rex, I had Stack. Um, what else do I have on this team? Porygon, I think, can hit it because I think I have foul play and ice beam. Um, yeah, they, they they didn't want no smoke. <laughs> they didn't want no smoke. All right, how do we play this game? Um, oh yeah, this is this is simple. We played the way we, we, we uh, we've been playing it. Um, you go with the Mian Shao. I'm glad we get to use this combo. Man, so Calyrex is absolutely broken. It makes no sense how good it is. Um, Volcarona does do more this time into a few of their mods, so I think I can bring it pretty safely this time. <clears throat> and do I want to bring Stack for some terrain control? I mean, not Stack, um, Indeedy for some terrain control. Terrain control could be nice, but Porygon could be even nicer. Yeah, Porygon feels like a safe... Porygon is a very safe bring, you know? I could probably pull some stuff off with the Ndidi, but, like, Porygon just goes into every Pokemon on their team just fine. I can Ice Beam, I can Foul Play, I can Trick Room. Um, it's a good Landorus answer. And it has Recover. Like, Porygon is just very safe. <laughs> you don't know what to pick? Pick Porygon of Dust Clash. It's very safe. I'm not sure how loud the music is, but I know it's really low. Hopefully you guys can hear it. So I don't look like I'm dancing to nothing like a fool. <laughs> All right, their team is up. So they have to, they're trying to figure out how do I stop Calyrex basically. This is like, this is, this feels borderline perfect. This feels borderline perfect. Because that, um, that, uh, Landorus should die. Unless it's Focus Sash, that would be tight. Um, so we always fake out here. Even if they protect, I could go for the faint, but I feel like it's just safer to protect. Yeah, it's safer. It's safer to protect. Because, like, if they, um... I mean, if they don't go for the protect for some reason, and I go for the faint, um, they might take out my mines. Oh, they're going doubles. Huh, interesting. Well, they kind of messed up, because, like... What I can do here is I can close combat into this thing. Um, and I'll just protect right here. 
Cause they're not gonna double up into Yeah, they're just gonna run from me They're just gonna like behemoth blade into something but like I don't care <laughs> Because either they behemoth blade into the man shell and I just live with sash and I hit him with close combat anyway um or they go into my Calyrex and they wasted an attack. <laughs> and look at that wonderful damage. <clears throat> so now we pick up two KOs. Um we close combat right here. And we ask a barrage. <laughs> uh we pick up one KO. I wanted to faint, right? But the issue is, if the Incinero has uh, Darkness, Larry, or Snarl, puts me in a bad spot. So I couldn't click faint there either. I have to, um, I have to get rid of the Incinero no matter what. I can't just let that thing just chill. Let me tell you something right now. In my last video, the question was, how do you feel about the no Dynamax? Do you miss Dynamax? As much as I had fun playing Dynamax. I have been on such a roll in series 10 where like the game just feels like it is doing what I wanted to do most of the time. Like I feel so strong right now. It is unbelievable. And like even the teams I've been putting together, like they feel like they are pretty consistent. Like I think right now, if I win this game, I should be like 10 and one, 11 and one or like 11 and two. Um, so they're going to go for their, uh, for their what's it called? Um, what a close combat here. They should not be able to one shot me with the Rillaboom unless it's banded. And it's probably Assault Vest. So I'll just go for the Astro Barrage and the close combat. Um, just in case it is, it is vested. They probably, yeah, they. They made the right play because they weren't going to knock out the Calyrex anyway, so you might as well mitigate your damage by going for the man shout. But, you know, sometimes things just don't work out in your favor. <laughs> sometimes you get Astro Barraged and, um... And you, and you lose the game. <laughs> it, it, it just kind of happens that way sometimes. <laughs> 4-0 victory. We take those any day of the week. Mian Shao is so good in this format. I recommend trying out Mian Shao. It has a lot of different moves. It has taunt, fake out, close combat, wide guard. Um, I think it has knockoff. It has like just it just has stuff. They might quit here, but hey, this is like, this will give me a chance to hit him with this if they if they try to protect. To just like stall out, but they might they might quit the quit the match. Yeah, those were really quick battles. So I'm gonna do um, another one for you guys. Um, hopefully we can uh, continue to play well and continue to climb this little rank. Right now we're 12 and two. So yeah, the format's been it's been it's felt it's felt good. Um, it's felt pretty good so far. My next opponent is probably gonna be super tough. Oh, 43 or three, but still, the watch them still be watch to be the toughest one. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So how do I want to play this? <clears throat> Indeedy Porygon feels okay here. Um, and then in the back, I'll have stack attacker and then maybe Kelly Rick said after that, do I want me in shell? I need more offense though. than me in shell brings me just in case and they have two ghost types. So I can't even touch those. Yeah. So, um, it's going to be Kelly Rex. So their team composition forces me to change up my game plan, um, which is good because then I get to do something different for you guys. 
Um, but yeah, they have like uh, they have the double ghost. They probably have shadow sneak. Um, and then you don't want to run into like a speed tie and you die. You just don't want that to happen. Oh, this is fine. <clears throat> the incinerator might have taunt, but it might not have taunt, right? So like, do I care if it has taunt? Because I feel like I can go for, um, I want to go for follow me, right? But if I don't go for follow me, I can get a big attack off into either the Aleki or something that switches in for the Aleki. And I feel like that's a really good thing for me. So I'm actually going to go for that. Um, no, 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 not like that though, just in case. Spanning force into this slot. I know it's double targeted, but just to be safe. If I get taunted, I get taunted. I'm not, it's not the end of the world. If they're doing this, then they don't have taunt. Or they might, but let's see. We see how much damage we get off into that thing. Like, that's just a waste of their two attacks. Yeah, there's no way they knock me out in that turn. So now I can just, um... I can expand the force again. I don't care if they, um... If they protect the Aleki. And then I can just recover off all that damage. So, like, their first turn got them nothing. And my first turn got me everything. Which is a good start to the game. They don't protect, so they're gonna lose their Reggie Aleki. <laughs> they did have taunt. They can't even bring out their Calyrex because they would have to do like expanding force to hit me and they brought it out They actually brought it out. That's interesting. So they're gonna go for their expanding force um Which is fine because what I can do Because the center wants to go for like flare blitz and stuff again I'm gonna follow him. No, I'm just gonna protect. I'm gonna preserve and I'll just do this. Ah, they scouted out. They scouted it out, which is okay. That means nothing. Cause now it just means that I can um start clicking expanding force again. One mistake I did make is I gotta check my trick room turns because I need to know where I am with that, right? All, at all times. And I didn't check before I made my last move. So I need to see if it actually runs out here or not. Um trick room has two turns left. Okay, that's good. Um They're probably going to switch in their incinerator, right? But I'm not really concerned about that, actually. So I'm going to follow me so that the um, thing can't hit my Porygon. I'm going to go for the for the uh, foul play. They might put the, they're going to switch in the incinerator. Yeah, they have to. But like, it's OK. It's totally OK. As long as I preserve my Pokemon, I'm good. So now what I would actually do It's the last turn of trick room They're probably going to protect that thing 
Um, am I still taunted? No, it's one turn left. Um. I'm not sure how important stack is. So I'm gonna swap it in. Cause I do I gotta preserve the Indeedy, right? Um I'll try to foul play this thing. They're probably gonna just protect though. But I'm not gonna do much damage into the incinero anyway. I can't believe they just let me do that. I can't believe they just let me do that. This is why sometimes you gotta go for what you gotta go for. I'm already taunted, you dummy. All right, so um, they're gonna want to taunt. Because they're gonna want to taunt, I'm gonna do this. Like that's not enough damage. Yep, and they want to taunt. The, they they want to taunt. They want to taunt. So you know what you do when they taunt? You click something else. You get a KO. And you trick room with the other mine. Let's go. <laughs> I know he mad, son. <laughs> I know he's so mad right now. He mad right now. He wishing he would have clicked Flare Blitz so bad right now. <laughs> right now, he's speaking to his dad right now. Want to jump through the screen and fight me so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Um, so we just rock slide. Um, they got to have to protect or something, but like... <laughs> Let's go. We made every single opponent quit. <laughs> Let's friggin' go, man. Oh. Everybody quits. Four of them. Four in a row quit. One of them, he saw the team preview. Quit. Other three, quit. Thank you guys for coming out. Um wonderful so much fun today uh so much fun uh <laughs> you guys enjoy hopefully you enjoy this video uh leave a like for your boy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace